This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. No, this is not sports overtime, but it is time for some postseason basketball. So tonight we allow Jamie McCracken to join us on the set. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. District tournament's getting underway tonight, and one of the more anticipated games, of course, across the coverage area, Hazard versus Perry Central. That's right. You are referring to the boys game, which is tomorrow, 7 o'clock on this TV and online at WYMT.com. But tonight, the girls met over in Leslie County. Head coach Randy Napier and his Perry Central Lady Commodores meeting up with Harold Brashear and the Lady Bulldogs. Hazard comes out hitting its shots. Alyssa Muha from the corner, toe on the line, puts Hazard up four. Then off the inbounds, Olivia Holland gets the bucket and the foul. Lady Bulldogs leading now by two in the first. Here, though, come the Lady Commodores. Cassie Fields ties the game with a three from straight away. Then off the miss in the corner, Michaela Burris battles and gets the board. Puts it back up and in, and we're still tied. And then Allie Sizemore, well, she puts Perry on top with the long three from the wing. Lady Commodores advance to the final and the region tournament, 64-56 over Hazard. Hot and sweaty inside the Paintsville Gymnasium tonight. Fantastic atmosphere for the 57th District first round. Johnson Central taking on Sheldon Clark. First quarter, Allie May for the Lady Eagles. She's got the rock. How's your driving game? Real good. Now it's Fallon Wethenstedt. She finds Hope Lafferty. Hope born to get buckets. A little friendly roll off the back door. Cut Sheldon Clark down three. You pipe top play contender Wethenstedt taking the ball out. Jeez. Look, look at that. That's like a perfect spiral. I hope she plays outfield. She could play quarterback for Coach McCoy next year. Gets the get pass up to Hope and Lafferty with a game high 15. Second quarter, Lady Cards with no answer to JC inside tonight. Jayla Spurlock up and in. And even when they did play good defense, they couldn't grab a board. Cheyenne Ross with the offensive board here. Uh, she misses. No problem, though. Sammy sights there to, to grab the other offensive board. Lady Eagles out rebound Sheldon Clark 32 to 20 and advance to their third straight district championship game 68 32. Lynn Camp High School hosting the 51st district tournament. Pineville and the Lady Cats of Lynn Camp facing off in the opening round. This game came down to the wire, so we jumped right to the fourth quarter. 11 seconds to play. Lynn Camp came down three, needs a three pointer to force overtime, and Keisha Brock to the rescue. At the buzzer, Woo! we go to overtime tied at 53. In OT, Pineville would strike first thanks to Morgan Thompson. High off the glass, Lady Lions by two. Pineville's defense getting it done here, forcing the turnover in the backcourt. Sophia Knuckles, the senior, puts the Lady Lions up four. And Pineville punches its ticket to the district championship game in its first trip to region in five years. They win it in overtime, 68-59. At the college level tonight, the Union men fell to Tennessee Wesleyan 90-83 with the win. Wesleyan wins the AAC regular season championship and earns an automatic bid to the national tournament. Union is now the two seed in the conference tournament and will play Thursday at 3.30 against either Point or Montreat. Well, coming up, we announced the final Alice Lloyd College Mountain Top 10s of the season. Josh, we still got highlights to get to, though. District tournament highlights included a big game in Johnson County. Welcome back. I said we go back out to the 57th district. Video pictures, please. McGoffin County student section, hashtag fluorescent theme, Patesville student section. Wait a minute, I can't find them. Hashtag camouflage theme, James Castle before the game tonight. One game. One game guarantees us two more games at, at a minimum. Okay? Now, I would love to have the opportunity to coach your girls two more games. Oh, no worries, coach. Your Lady Hornets came out fiery. Jazzy Howard, the no-looker to Sister Howard, Leslie. Good job, sis. Next possession down, here comes Jazzy, Euro step. Man, she's good. McGoffin starts the game on a 6-0 run later in the first quarter. Presley Cherico kicks it out to swoop. Elizabeth Williams creates and makes, but Paintsville falls in the first round, 52-37. to Andrew Blank and Buckhorn playing host Leslie County in the 54th district first round. Pick it up third quarter. Lady Eagles move it to Kelsey Gay, who hits the long two, Leslie. 
enjoys a 13-point lead. Emily Griffith increases that lead a little bit later, picks up the loose ball, decides to keep it herself. Coast to coast, gets the bucket and the foul. Why not? Lady Eagles by 22. Buckhorn, though, got a big game from Madison Couch. Gets around the defender for the bucket plus one. And then Couch now kicks it out to Natalie Gabbard, and Gabbard gets two points in the paint. But Leslie County punches its ticket to the region tournament 59-39 over Buckhorn. Let's go back to the 51st. Who would Pineville play in the championship game? Barberville or Knox Central? First quarter off the Lady Tiger turnover. Madison Davis. Madison Davis. Oh, flips it up and in. Lady Panthers put up 34 points in the first quarter to Barberville's four. That's a 30 point lead, right? Okay. Lady Tigers, though, still fighting. Abigail Smith from straight away, the high arcing three pointer, three of her five of the night. But this game was all Knox Central. Tony McCombs having her way in the paints. 11 points for McCombs. Lady Panther Madison Hicks led all scores with 15, and Knox Central advances to the district championship game. 58-26. Oh, I trust your math. Okay, yeah, okay, I hope so. Uh, for the final time this season, here's the uh, boys and girls Alice Lloyd College Mountain Top 10 rankings. Yes, here is the girls poll. McGoffin County that you just saw at number 10. Perry Central at 9. Pulaski County 8. Johnson Central 7. North Laurel and Knott Central flipped this week at 6 and 5. And the top four unchanged. Harlan County, Shelby Valley, Harlan, and Southwestern. To the boys, Southwestern ends the regular season as the top team in the mountains. Lawrence County, Perry Central, South Laurel, and Harlan County round out the top five. Hazard cracks the top ten at number nine this week, Josh. Of course, the Bulldogs will take on the Commodores tomorrow on our Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week on this TV and WIMT.com. Man, it should be exciting. Gates open at 530, game starts at <laughs> 7. Back with more Mountain News at 11 right after this.